everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I have a Valentine's Day card to share with you and I created this using the Love and Breakfast stamp set from Lawn Fun. So to begin this card, I'm going to start with an A2 folded card and just a standard card size of the same size of mixed media paper in A2 size and distress inks in picked raspberry and candied apple. Now I'm going to use my round ink blending tools for this and we're going to create the background first on the mixed media paper. So I'm going to start with the picked raspberry, that's the lighter color, and it's more of a vibrant pink, which is really pretty for Valentine's Day. So I'm just blending this halfway down the background of the card. And then once I have a good coat of this ink all blended in, I'm going to switch it around and use the candied apple on the other side. And then I'll make those meet in the middle. Now because the candied apple is more red color and actually more of a warmer color base, I'm going to go over the candied apple with the picked raspberry as a final wash just to help marry those colors together a little bit better. So you can see that I've done that and then I just blended the middle and it's all ready to go. So to add the hearts to the background, I've taped this to the back of my cutting mat. And I'm going to use the stencil called Tiny Spaced Hearts from Simon Says Stamp. And I will put a link to that in the description below. Once I had this taped down, I realized that it would cover some of the places where the hearts would land. So I decided to put the tape underneath instead, just curl it over and stick it to the cutting mat just using rolled over tape on the background. So I have the stencil here and I found center making sure that all the hearts land evenly on the edges of the top and the bottom and the left and the right side. And I'm going to come in with some texture paste. This is from Ranger and it's just a white texture paste. And I'm using this um, palette knife from Michaels. I bought a pack of them. They're in the painting section. So I'm just scooping out a little bit. It's really like a jar of icing. It's a little bit thicker than icing, um, but it works the same way. So with that little bit that I've scooped out, I just push it down into the holes, into the hearts, and then I scrape off the top layer and then move over to the next section. And I do this all the way down the stencil. It's super easy. And it goes in really easy, I think, because the stencil has tiny holes too, so it's pretty easy to put the paste in. And so once I get this all in place, I'm going to remove the stencil so that it, um, the hearts can dry. And the paste dries pretty quickly, so you don't have to wait too long. But I'm just removing it here, and there's the reveal. So I'm going to take one of my circle templates to cut out the cardstock. I'm using Nina Solar White cardstock for this, and that's what I'm going to stamp my elements on. So I chose a smaller circle so you could see the background. And this is the Love and Breakfast stamp set, and I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink in my acrylic block to put these down onto the stamped out piece of paper. So I'm just laying up my elements here. I'm going to have the salt and pepper shaker and the sentiment. I'm just lining up where I want that to fall on the round piece of paper. And so I'm using this strip of paper at the side as a guide to match up the lines on my acrylic block with where I want my little salt and pepper shaker to be stamped um, vertically on the card. So as long as I line up those lines, then everything will space correctly. And so here I'm adding this sentiment. I'm going to put that on second. And the sentiment says, we go together. And then it has the little salt and pepper shaker. So I thought this was really cute. And I love the little faces. I'm sure I've mentioned this a hundred times, but this stamp set is my favorite stamp set of any that I have or have ever seen. I love this stamp set. And so I'm adding the little bow to the guy. You could also use the bow as a hair ribbon for the girl too, as an alternative. And then putting a little heart because it is Valentine's Day card. So I'm using these colors first um, and it's like a blue green and I wanted to create sort of a recycled glass look, that classic glass that you would see, which always has sort of a bluish green tinge to it. And I wanted to keep the colors really light as well so that they would match the background nicely. I'm using these red tones to create the colors for the bow on the boy. Um, salt and pepper shaker and then on the heart as well and then I'm going to come in with a darker red just to darken up the shadows on the bow at the end here. I'm coming in with R20 which is blush and I'm going to add some cheeks to my little girl 
And then for the tops, I'm going to color those in a pink and purple tone, and that's just to match and complement the background that we have as well, just to bring some of those colors into the main element of the card. I'm taking my white Uniball uh, Signo pen, uh, it's a white gel pen, and just adding some lines along the side of the glass to create that bubbly look. And then I'm coming in with my gold jelly roll pen. I want to rim the edge of the stamped out part just to dress it up a little bit and give it a finished touch. And so I'm very carefully going along the edges and also along the side of the cut piece of paper uh, to color that in. This pen is beautiful to work with. It glides really nicely and the ink comes out very smooth. So it's actually really fun to do this. I really love inking with it. I found that once I did get this all finished um, with the gold rim, I felt like it was missing a little bit. And so I decided to come back in at the end here and just add a few details with that gold pen as well, just to drop it in a few other places. And so I'm going to add some little hearts here beside the salt and pepper shaker on each side, just to sort of balance out that white space. And also too, to use a little bit of that gold in another place, not just on the rim. And so I'm going to attach this with foam tape. And so I'm just going to peel these off and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to find the position. I find it's easier to eyeball center if I don't have my hand in the way. So I found the center there and I'm just pushing that down into place. And so I'm ready to attach my card to the card base. I'm going to use my tape roller. And so just going along each edge and then a big X down the middle. And I find that holds it in place very well. So lining up the folded edges on my table, I'm just going to match those between my hands, finding center on each side, and then very carefully push them together. Super easy to line them up this way. And so there you have it. This is my Valentine's Day card. This was super fun and easy to make, and I love the colors. I thought it turned out really nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified the next time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching.